Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna get the oil bath air cleaner back on this, and I'm gonna try to get a few other things done. At least take off these old lights, that light and the two headlights, and we'll see if we can get anything else done. I'll show you the replacement lights, and hopefully we can get that on today, but maybe not. Okay, this is the oil bath air cleaner. I think I'm gonna clean this up a bit. I cleaned the inside of the actual oil cup. This gets filled with oil right up to that level as shown, but I didn't do anything inside here, so I may have to do some cleaning on this as well. And this is the pipe this right here. I know this was kind of hard to take off. This goes onto the carburetor and then the carburetor, or er, carburetor, the air cleaner goes way up under the hood, I guess to keep it out of the dust. Let's pop this hood. And I think I'm gonna have to take this off and put the battery cable on around like that in order to get this in there. It's kind of a tight fit. Fits right in here and I think this might be in the way. I'll quick show you the last of the stuff that I've already bought for this tractor. When I did the 12 volt conversion I had planned on changing out the lights to original equipment style. I don't know these might actually be original equipment these are from Steiner Tractor, but these are 12 volt versions of the original teardrop style lights. And we got two of those. And this is the red running light for the back. And it's got a bracket. Where is that? Here it is. This bracket fits. Oh, where does that go? I believe it's on this side. Yeah, it fits. It fits at the end of this thing here, and this is in the way, but it fits right here. So this may actually be in the hole for it. Fits right there, and then one of the lights I believe is on the side here, the work light, which I didn't show yet, and then this running light, I believe, goes on the top. I'll have to look into that, but all of the lights and stuff on a Ferguson were optional. This is the work light. This gets mounted right here somewhere, or is it on the top? No, I believe it's on the side right here, and it's aimed kind of down at the three-point hitch. So when you come home and it's getting dark, you can turn this on and take your implement off. And this running light is for on your way home so that somebody can see the back of your tractor on the road. Okay, these right here, these are for the lights and got the pair of emblems, those go on the side of the hood right there. And what else do we got here? Ah, this is actually for this running light. The running light, it's just a, I believe that screws right through the back there. I'll have to look that up and see how that goes, but I do believe this is for the running light. Ah, uh, now it's coming back to me. There's a matched set of these brackets that go on the fenders. The running light goes on the far side and the work light goes on this side. The running light goes on the far side there. So if you're going down the road, that's kind of like out in the middle of the road because you only have one of them. Okay, now it's making sense. So basically I just have 
the lights to put on. But then I have a brake job to do and a bunch of other mechanical stuff, but I don't have the parts for it yet. I got all of this stuff at the same time. And we'll be putting it on real shortly. Now I remember the other thing I was going to do. Before I put the air cleaner on, I was going to take this oil sending line. It goes up to the oil gauge. I was going to take that off and run some cleaner through it because I'm only getting like 10 pounds of oil pressure. But I don't think I'm going to do that. This is running just fine the way it is. I think this is incorrect. So I think what I'm going to do is just replace the gauge and this line is like $20. So I'll probably just replace the gauge and the line and see what it looks like then. Then if I still have problems, I'll have to take the oil pan off and that's going to be a big can of worms. So I really don't want to start doing that stuff now. I'm going to need a new oil pan. This one's dented. If you haven't seen the videos, it took me forever to get this cover plate on there so that it doesn't leak and it feels like it's leaking. So I'm going to have to get a new pan for this. Hopefully I can find an original one at a junkyard or something because from what I hear, the aftermarket ones are really bad. And I believe this is an aftermarket one itself because the original ones would not dent, they would break. The original ones are cast iron and this is just sheet metal. All right, so let's get this off and get this battery cable on here correctly and then clean up this filter, fill it up and get it hooked up. Okay, there is kind of a traffic jam in this area. Got the throttle right here, throttle shaft, and that goes to this big plate right here, which turns, and then it has a mechanism that goes up through this, this cowling right here. We have the negative battery cable right here, which used to be the positive. We have the oil line that goes down to the oil pressure sensor. And the bolt holes are right here and right here. And I believe it like slides on backwards onto that bolt. And then this bolt you have to put through the hole. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty tight. You could see where this is wearing on this a little bit. I think when I put the new oil pressure gauge in here, I'm gonna route it just a little bit different. Go back that way a bit and then come up and around. But for now, it is what it is. Let's get those bolts in there and then like do a dry fit. Then I'm gonna have to get that thing nice and clean and then fill it with oil and get it on there. All right, I went in my little parts container and I have three candidates here. They would have red on them. And this one is the odd one out. And we have one with a lock washer, one with a regular washer. I would guess that the one with a regular washer would go right here. Hopefully it's the right size. Okay, a little dry fit here. See, we have the open-ended one there. If I remember correctly, this was a nightmare to get off, but I believe most of that had to do with the hose going to the carburetor. I'm having problems already getting this washer. There we go. Well, that wasn't that hard. So I guess the biggest problem was the hose there lining right up. And then this bolt, I put some uh, PB blaster on these bolts. So they'll go on a little bit easier. All right, that was easy. Now 
I'm going to take this off, this top part. I wonder if I can get this, if I can do that with this on there. I have never taken this off yet. I probably have two hours into this tractor. I drove it home from town, which is about six miles, or no, four and a half miles. Yeah, I'll just spritz this, I'll tighten this down, clean this out a little bit, and then the cup with the oil in it goes on with this clamp right here. So that's all pretty easy. Oh, that was the problem. The nut is way in the back there, and it's right behind the wire. So... I'm going to have to figure out how I got that nut tightened. All right. Yeah, this is going to be harder than I thought. Okay. That is how I did it. You have to take off this cable and then you can see the bolt and you got to get in there with an extension, tighten that down. You shouldn't have to take this off very often. I had to take it off to do work back there, but once this is back in place, I shouldn't have to take it off for a good long time. All right, and now for the oil, SAE30. And that goes in this outer ring. And that is the fill line. Okay, all done. Now let's see how many lights we can get off before it gets dark out here. That's one. I thought these were going to be stuck. This is going pretty easy. Alright, that is going to do it for tonight. That was a lot easier than I thought. I can't remember if this had two clamps on either end. All I had was two clamps there, but another two clamps might show up. And if that's the case, I pretty much know how to get this off without too much of a problem now. So I'll just take this off and put the other two clamps on if I find it. But for the life of me, I can't remember if there's two clamps on here. I'll have to look on one of the older videos and see if I can see that. But otherwise, it looks really good. Got some nice fresh oil in here. Now I'm not driving around without an air cleaner anymore. Really nice. Got them ugly lights off. And the real lights mount like right here. Here and here. 
and like I said the tail lights those have brackets that go right onto the end right here I don't know how that's gonna work with these in the way oh they have them the other way around oh no they don't these should be carriage bolts right here and they have these big old regular nuts on so I'll have to take that off same thing here that should be a carriage bolt holy moly yeah same thing over here okay well that's not that big of a deal I need to find some Fergie gray paint as well do a little bit of touch up on these fenders but the next thing is the lights and the brakes when I was working on this three-point hitch before I noticed you could see there's a lot of oil on this side and nothing on this so I believe I have a bit of an oil leak on this side so when I get these wheels off and do the brakes I'm gonna put oil seals on these things as well and hopefully stop that you really need really good brakes in this area I also think that I should replace these arms here because the farmer cut holes in here they're just big ragged cut holes and they have sharp edges that's gonna break at some point I'm sure of it so I should probably replace these lower arms as well but they're kind of expensive I really don't need to replace them until I put something heavy on here like a bush cutter but oh and this this is bent and it's got some stress cracks in it so I got to replace this as well these are 25 30 bucks at tractor supply that's a stock item there so I should be able to pick one of those up no problem there's a lot of little expenses and it starts to add up but it's a pretty nice little tractor all right so if you want to see the rest of the work on this make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.